Sorry, we jumping ahead a bit. What's poppin' with the squad? Y'all know what it be. Y'all know what it is. Your boy Amari. We back with another one. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we back with another one. And, you know, since we already done reacted to the J. Cole joint, y'all already know we got hop on the new name joint. Y'all already know. Come on, man. Y'all already know. Okay? So that's what we finna do. No Name dropped a response to J. Cole's Snow on the Bluff. It is called Song 33, or just 33. Let's get into it. This, To be honest, this is my first time ever actually hearing No Name. To be honest, before J. Cole dropped that song, I didn't know who No Name was besides her name, which ironically is No Name, but that's besides the point. Anyways, yeah. This is my first time hearing her, so let's see what this girl got. Let's see what she got to say. Let's see how she handles some criticism. Oh, I have ambitions, dreams, but dreams don't come cheap. I saw a demon on my shoulder. It's looking like patriarchy, like scrubbing blood off the ceiling and bleaching another carpet. How my house? Okay, she got that voice though. Like right off the bat, she got that voice that made you want to go, "Ooh, who is that?" Like that's just nice and smooth. My toy and body don't act like scrubbing blood off the ceiling and bleach in another carpet. How my house go on it? My toy and body don't embody all the life she wanted. The baby just 19. I know I dream all black. I say not everything. I'm mortalizing tweets, all caps. They say they found her dead. One girl missing, another one go missing. One girl missing, another. But niggas in the back, quiet as a church mouse. Basement studio when duty calls to get the verse out. I guess the ego hurt. One girl go missing, another one missing or missing her. One girl go, I don't know. All I'm saying is that's fire. This girl fire. This girl, this girl's definitely a conscious rapper. This girl's definitely one of those you don't want to mess with her because she, at least just from that, I can tell this girl knows how to get down on the mic. She knows what she's doing. She knows how to handle a mic. So, I mean, I'm just saying, I am pleasantly surprised. However, I will also say that it seems as though her response to J. Cole is there's so much going on, why'd you take time to respond to me? That's how that's what I'm getting, that's how I'm reading it, that's how that's how I'm hearing it. Feel feel free to drop down to the comments down below and respectfully Tell me if you agree or disagree or what you got from this or what you have. Emphasis on the respectfully. But, yeah, in all honesty, honesty, I think that while what she's saying is important, while there is a large group of people that I think this pertains to, I think she is definitely fighting the wrong fight here. I feel like while she is bringing notice to all of these issues... She's in a way kind of almost downplaying the effect others have had. And so I just kind of find it hard to believe, not hard to believe, I kind of just find it hard to follow her, um, at least on this song. And let me remind you, this is the first time I'm hearing her. Whew, it, it It just feels like... I don't know how to explain it without like sounding like I'm like I'm like I'm an asshole. So I'm just going to hit play. Hurt now. It's time to go to work. Wow. Look at him go. He really doubts to write about me when the world is in smokes. When it's people in trees. When George was begging for his mother saying he couldn't breathe. He thought to write about me. One girl missing. Another one go missing. See that right there. Like. That right there is like, to me, she's trying to imply that he has nothing better to do at this time than write about her. Or like, he's not doing anything else besides writing about her. And that's just not true at all. And I find myself saying this to a lot of people, be it on social media or in person. Like, that's just not fair. You're ignoring his whole discography. You're ignoring his whole activism. You're ignoring his community outreach. You are ignoring his literal, his literal sense of human humanization. Is that a word? 
We're talking about a person who has sat down with victims' families. We're talking about a person who has literally opened up his own childhood home for the poor and underprivileged. We're talking about people who person who is given to charity. We're talking about a person who is not just in one protest, but in multiple protests. We're talking about a person that not just spoke out on multiple issues, not just in one song, but in multiple songs across his career. And that's why I find it very unfair for people to, especially No Name since she's leading the charge, I find it very unfair of her to do something like this. To, 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 to pretty much say that he's not doing anything because I wholeheartedly disagree. I respectfully, but wholeheartedly disagree. And, that's, and, and that becomes another issue in of itself because now you have two black leaders fighting each other instead of fighting the good fight. And I'm not, and, 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 you know, my words are playing it up. Like, nobody's actually, like, you know, dropping diss tracks or whatever. But, like, while these two are focused on each other, there's attention being drawn away from the real issue at hand. And I just feel like all of this could be avoided if people just tried harder, a little bit harder to understand where the other was coming from instead of choosing to be offended by what the other is saying. One girl missing another one. Yo, but little did I know all my reading would be about there is trans women being murdered and this is all he can offer and this is all y'all receive. Distract you from the convo with organizers. They talking abolishing the police and this is a new world order. We democratizing Amazon, we burn down borders. This is a new vanguard. This is See, like, what are you talking about? This is all he can offer and this is all y'all receive? Like, stuff like that just doesn't make sense to me and I just don't, genuinely don't understand what she's trying to say or how, she, like, of course I feel like everybody could be doing more. Everybody, myself included. But I haven't seen no name on the front page, on the front page of anything with her body in the middle of anything. Yes, I could just be because I don't follow her and I like I said this is my first time hearing her, but still nonetheless, I haven't I haven't. But there are multiple songs, multiple um protests and and, and all that stuff, multiple there's just so much that J. Cole has done. And just because he's not, you know, blowing up social media with what he's doing, it feels like people are trying to cancel him. It feels like people are trying to take away from what he has done. And that's just not fair to him or the people that he has helped. Vanguard. I'm the new Vanguard. Okay. Okay. Both coming over with some with some nice smooth beats. Nothing too harsh. <sighs> Excuse me. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I have my feelings about this whole situation. I have my feelings about what each person said. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. It, it really is what it is at this point. Like, let's just see what happens moving forward. I'm really interested to hear what y'all think. I'm really interested to hear what y'all got to say about this. So please do me a favor. Drop down to the comments below. Open it up. Below that shit wide open. Talk to me. Let's have some conversations. Let's dialogue back and forth. Let's try to see if we can come to understanding. Okay? Okay. All right. Also, hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit that notification bell as well. Thank y'all for visiting. Thank y'all for watching. I appreciate the support as always. Y'all are dope. Peace out.